President Trump says he'll take action if Seattle officials don't do anything about protesters who took over part of a downtown area declaring it a police-free zone. The Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, also known as CHAZ, is named after the city's Capitol Hill neighborhood. For four straight days, protesters have occupied several blocks, including a police precinct. The mayor has defended the protesters, calling them patriotic, but she says law enforcement may be brought in. Officials left the area Monday, hoping to put an end to the violence, but the city's police chief says that decision to leave the precinct was not hers. Protesters have called on both the mayor and the police chief to resign. Okay, let's jump right back into the opinion zone with Lisa Durden and Bob Bianchi. Bob, I'll start with you on this. Um, wow, anarchy in Seattle. What do you think? To abdicate and leave a police station um, and, and now to have this zone set up on a public street where there is no protection, mark my words, Bill, this is not going to end well for those people who are protesting, there's going to be crimes that are going to be committed there. There's going to be victims that are going to be created there. And now the police are between a rock and a hard place because they were told to leave, that they have to go in now and interdict if there's an issue. And that's going to get ugly. Listen, you want to protest, no problem. I, I, again, you have a First Amendment right to do that, but you don't have a First Amendment right to violate the law. Lisa, turning to you on this, to Bob's point, uh, I read an article today that police response time on average out of that precinct uh, in that area has gone from five minutes now to 18 minutes. So God knows what's going on behind those fences. Um, but police seem to not be able to win. If they go in, they're called racists and aggressors. If they stay out, they get in trouble for that. H how do the cops win and handle a situation like this, in your opinion? Go, Jenny. Go, Jenny. Go, Jenny. Mayor Jenny Durkin is a bad mother. Hush your mouth. I can dig it. She will not allow federal to move those protesters because she saw how they brutalized peaceful protesters in Washington, D.C. when they intervened. They incited violence, they brutalized innocent protesters, and she's not having it. She said those troops are not only unwelcome, it would be illegal to move the protesters. Now that's the way you use white privilege for good. Thank you, guys. Yep.